Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Nicole, I'm a homeschooling mom to a seven, six, and two year old. And I'm gonna be showing you guys my third grade independent subject picks for today, for the upcoming school year. Um, and my plan is to do third grade and then a first grade video and then I'll do a family subject video as well, which I might mention some of the family subjects today. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I actually like have everything written down today. So hopefully I don't forget anything because that's always the worst when I go back and I'm like, wait, I didn't include that. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk about math because it has the least, um, but it's gonna be a little different. Okay, so I don't have next year's math yet, um, so it'll be 3A and 3B, um, but we're still gonna stick with dimensions. Something different that we are going to be doing, my plan is, because I want to make math a little bit more fun, so what I'm gonna do is one day a week, probably Thursdays, I'm going to do a math game with my kids instead of our curriculum. We tend to finish up our curriculums pretty quickly um, because we start in August and we don't take a lot of breaks. Um, so my plan is, like I said, do our dimensions three days a week and then on a fourth day, not sure if it'll be the same fourth day every week, but I will do a game. I plan on doing a um, whole video on our like math games, like an updated one because I have a lot in the mail on the way and we already have a bunch of new ones that you guys haven't seen before. So that's going to be everything for math. I have thought about adding a second math curriculum, but I'm going to think more about that over the summer. Okay. <laughs> for um, our, I've got a gigantic stack. I'll show you. That's all language arts stuff. So if you see something and you're like, at the start and you're like, oh, that's boring and you want to click away. There's a lot more, so just hang tight. Okay, so our core is Good and the Beautiful. We've done this since my going to be third grader was in preschool. And it's just kind of something that's like still holding my hand a little bit, I think, through homeschooling. I don't think we really need it anymore, but we're sticking with it for a bit longer. So that is the older level three. And so what I like about it is it um, has a poetry focus and I was actually wanting to, I was looking for like a poetry unit study for this specific child because he's very interested in poetry um, and I wanted to talk to him about, you know, stanzas and personification and all of those things. But this is perfect because now I'm able to just kind of bring it up as we do these poems. Um, and then a reader actually got these used because they don't sell many works. It's the old, old I don't always use the readers because they read so much on their own. Um, okay, so that is like kind of, you know, covering our bases. That is like our like minimum, I don't know what to call it, I guess. This is level two, I'm, he's about halfway, but I'm going to bump him up to level three, even if he's not quite finished. He's got good handwriting. He just doesn't love to do his specific handwriting, but he does love to write. Um, last thing to go with that is he just has a little notebook that, um, We've already started level three, but still for next year, um, that he decorated and it's like a writing notebook that goes along with the good and the beautiful. Um, I suppose I'll talk about writing next. Okay, so last year we used Brave Writer, we used Dart with him. This year we are going to use Arrow. Um, so my plan is, I haven't looked deeply through this, but it's very similar to Dart. I think maybe it'll just, I don't know if the books are a little bit more or this is a little bit more, but um, we're going to go through this one. He's really into baseball. He's playing baseball right now. So um, he's going to like this book choice. Um, my plan is to go through that and then kind of regroup and, and see if we want to do another arrow or if I want to switch him over to IEW. So that's the plan for next year. Either stick with Brave Rider, I'm gonna see how much he's getting out of it, um, what the challenge level is, and if I think that he could do with some more challenge and he's like ready for that step, because I do plan on doing IEW at some point, um, then I will just start that like the second term 
or some point next year whenever we're finished with this one. Speaking of IEW, for um, like some extra grammar practice, I've actually had this for a while. So I bought this off of um, Thrift Books or something a long time ago. And it has the like, I won't show it, but the, like free student download page in it, like with the little thing. So I got a really good deal. I don't know, probably like 15 bucks for everything. Um, but so I always just thought it was like a very simple, um, just edit the sentence each day. So that's why I didn't pull it out until now when I actually looked deeper and realized, I actually looked at it, <laughs> um, that you're learning a lot more. So they have like vocabulary words each week. They have, um, all these flashcards with different, um, parts of sentences and things like that. Um, this one says like who clauses. So I love grammar. I don't know why I haven't started this with him yet. And he really likes like in the good and the beautiful when he's editing sentences. Um, my younger son too, which I'll talk about in his video, but, um, that's like his favorite part. He's always like, Oh yeah, I want to do that. And in something else that I'm going to show you, it has that as well. And he's always excited to do that. So I think he's going to love it, even though it's not colorful and you know, like the good and the beautiful is which just probably ruined all of these sort for us because it just looks so inviting anyway oh and it also comes with a grammar glossary which he already found and was like what is this and he got so excited because he's like me in that way okay a couple more things um so the other one that i was talking about with the sentence editing um is god's big story this is level four um i just went with like reading level um, so this is what, so it's, um, the stories of the Bible for them to read through. They're fairly short, three or four pages. And then after they do that, they just have like their workbook. So we've already done, I think, um, 11 of the chapters. Um, and there are 70. <laughs> so we're not far. Um, I just was excited and I wanted to start it. I got it a bit ago. Um, so we do two of these a week. And it's going really well. We all really like it. Um, my younger son's doing it as well on a uh, lower level. Anyway, this has been great. So it's mostly, this is our reading comprehension. So that's why I was kind of like, we don't really need the good and the beautiful anymore because we are covering writing and grammar, vocabulary too, and reading comprehension. But we all still like using it. So it doesn't really hurt to like double up, you know? Um, about read, I have something else, but, um, with reading, um, I think I bought a readers ahead of time last year and then I was kind of like, I just don't really need to. I think we're just going to keep going to the library like we usually do because they will go through like many chapter books and I think that doing this as far as reading comprehension, The Brave Writer is a specific book as well that we're going to like dig deeper into a book. That's enough for like talking about, if that makes sense. Um, and then for just like personal reading, you know, I like look through what books he's getting at the library. So it's not just like a free for all. <laughs> and um, he reads plenty. That's mostly what he does in his free time. Okay, last thing. I think this was probably my video last year and I didn't do it. Or maybe it was like in an unboxing actually partway through the year. So this summer we are going to do um, like a easy Latin. It'll be in my summer video. It'll be in my summer video, which is going to come out after um, my curriculum picks. So you can see what we're, it is that we're going to be using. Anyway, that's going to be like a little introduction. So bitch, <laughs> into our introduction. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but the Prima Latina, the part that um, kind of like holds me back, there's two things. I don't know anything about Latin. I never learned Latin. I find it very interesting, but um, I just don't know anything about it. The second thing being, it looks really boring <laughs> and I'm someone that is like so, that's just always been like a thing for me is like I want school to be fun and I use that word a lot when describing things that I like for school. I want them to be fun. So it may not actually be that important but I want them to enjoy learning and I don't want them to feel like oh it's time for this and that's kind of what that shouts to me but it might not be. So. 
I'm gonna do this summer one and then I'm going to, I think, give that a try. Oh yeah, a couple other things that I don't physically have to show you. Okay, for science, we have a science curriculum which is gonna be in the family, but another thing he's going to be doing is Crunch Labs. I'm going to get an annual subscription come September so that he has the Crunch Lab Labs boxes to do each month. I think he's gonna love those. Um, and then he, I think I talked about rock climbing last year, but we didn't end up doing it because we wanted to do baseball instead. And I didn't want him to do music and rock climbing and ukulele every week. Um, it would just be too much. So rock climbing, I think he's going to do come fall. And then ukulele is something that he also does. And okay. I think that's everything independent. Um, I am going to get to filming the kindergarten one so that these can all come out and make sure to watch the family subjects because they're, that is like half of his curriculum is in the family subjects. So this is just independent. And then like his science and his history, geography, foreign language, electives, those are in the family video. So make sure to subscribe and you guys can see when that comes out too.